Tyson in his prime, where he was just storming the gates. He just stalked people down and smashed them. Hey, it's, it's, the, high, it's the highest form of relaxation. Is when you're fighting. I, see, now for me, I know it wouldn't be relaxing at all. <laughs> I feel like it would be like... Well, if you were doing everything since you were 12 years old, it would be. Y well, yeah, I still think I'd be beaten to a pulp, as really it would be the opposite of relaxing. Well, you shouldn't think that. IBF, uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer, uh, Jim Gray. Get the official decision now as Jake Paul gets his eighth professional win. Okay, I'll come in the room yeah, after. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> the club. I have not been this invested in a fight in a very, very long time. I... I'm so, and I don't, it's not just me. I really want you to beat this guy. Just you couldn't stop him. Oh. It's orgasmic sometimes. Mm, yeah. You can hit hard like that, but I can hit pretty hard to like that bucket. Boom! Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Rundowns. Before we dive into the epic showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, I want to hear from you. Are you Team Mike ready to see the legend reclaim his throne? If so, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment saying Team Mike. Or are you Team Jake? Cheering for the YouTube star to pull off the impossible. If that's you, hit that like button too, subscribe, and comment Team Paul, your voices matter here, and I'll be sharing some of the best comments later in the show. Now let's jump into the madness of this highly anticipated clash. So let's start with the latest news. Mike Tyson has just leaked some absolutely terrifying training footage that's taken the boxing world by storm. And let me tell you folks, he's gearing up like an absolute beast. I mean, we're talking next level intensity here. This isn't just a casual jog around the block, this is Iron Mike training like a man possessed. In the footage, Tyson looks like he's on some serious next-gen technology. We're talking about a 58-year-old who already scares the pants off most people, now using cutting-edge gear to train. I mean, if I were Jake Paul, I'd be sweating bullets right now. Tyson's been flexing his power, speed, and that iconic intensity, and it's clear he's not just coming to fight, he's coming to destroy. Yeah. Before he was born, how did we know how old we were? Right, but he's been dead for a long time. I know, so, <laughs> I know so, he, yeah, he didn't live too long. I either. mean, he's still got a palace, but he's dead. I mean, that's yeah, the but, fact. But I, well, what I'm saying is that um, I feel really good. Boxing pros and pundits are flooding social media with their reactions. You've got Joe Rogan, Teddy Atlas, Oscar De La Hoya, basically the entire boxing universe saying, yo, Jake, you better be ready because Tyson is coming for your soul. And let's be real here. This isn't just casual banter. They're straight up warning Jake that he might not know what he signed up for. Now, let's break down this insane training regimen. Tyson is treating this fight like it's the heavyweight championship of the world, leaving no stone unturned. This isn't an accident. This is psychological warfare. He's leaking this footage right before the fight to make Jake tremble in his boots. Imagine the fear, uh, oh, did I really sign up for this? In the video, you can see Tyson moving like he's 20 years younger, throwing punches with such force that even the heavy bags look like they're about to take flight. It's like he's sending a direct message to Jake, you sure you're ready for this? If Jake wasn't second-guessing himself before, you can bet he is now. And Tyson's training isn't just your typical bag work. No, no, he's got a whole technological arsenal at his disposal. We're talking high-tech resistance bands, virtual reality training, motion capture sensors. This is some serious Matrix-level stuff. Tyson's working on his reflexes and reaction time while wearing a VR headset. It's like he's training for the next sci-fi blockbuster instead of a boxing match. But wait, there's more. Tyson's using isokinetic resistance machines that keep his muscles working at a constant rate. It's like pushing against a wall that gets stronger as he does. The result? Explosive strength and stamina like we've never seen before. And his trainers are using neuromuscular electrical stimulation to keep his muscles contracting even when he's resting. That's right, folks. He's training while he's chilling. Tyson is literally training like a machine, and the boxing world is losing its mind over it. This isn't just the Iron Mike we remember. This is a supercharged version, ready to remind everyone why he's still one of the scariest forces in the sport. Now, Joe Rogan is absolutely blown away by Tyson's insane physique and the skills he's showcasing in training. I mean, we all know Tyson is a freak of nature, but what we're seeing right now is on another level. Rogan can't stop raving about how Tyson is defying age. He's looking stronger than ever, and that's saying something coming from someone who's seen it all in combat sports. And let's not forget, just a few months ago, Tyson had a medical scare with ulcers that had everyone worried. The fight had to be postponed, and people started wondering if he'd ever step back in the ring. But this is Iron Mike we're talking about. Instead of slowing down, he bounced back stronger than ever. His and now he's back Tyson in the gym, training like an training absolute like beast. I started Jake Paul off. Can I ask you, how did you start him off? Um, on my fight with Roy Jones, I allowed him to fight on the card, and I decided I started him, and I'm, and I'm going to finish him. <laughs> Jake Paul, listen up. 
If you thought you were walking into an easy fight, think again. Tyson's not just showing up, he's preparing to dominate. He believes every opponent deserves the same level of respect, whether they're a seasoned boxer or a newbie YouTuber turned fighter. <laughs> Who else can do it but me? Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Should he be scared? He should be very scareful, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, be careful. I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. The first time you came on and you said, I can't even work out. Yes, Because yes. if I work out, my ego will get excited. And here's where it gets interesting. Mike's not just training hard. He's also exploring hormone replacement therapy. That's right, folks. Even Joe Rogan has raved about the benefits he's reaped from HRT. We're in 2024, and a 58-year-old like Tyson isn't the same as what it used to mean. This is a whole new ball game. So mark your calendars because Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is going down on November 15th at the At T Arena in Arlington, Texas, streaming live on Netflix. This is a big money fight for both fighters, especially for Jake, who knows how to cash in on a spectacle. And just a month ago, we had that heated press conference that was pure gold. Tyson was all dominance, while Jake made some seriously delusional claims. It was like watching a comedy show in New York City, everyone was laughing, but the hype for this heavyweight clash shot through the roof. This is the fight of Paul's dreams, and he's probably concocting some fantasy outcome where he knocks Tyson down. Yep, you heard that right. Someone showed Jake Tyson's training footage because he's in for a serious reality check. Mike Tyson is one of the scariest people alive, a man who literally bit off part of an ear in the ring. Mike Tyson just hearing the name sends chills down your spine. The man, the myth, the legend, he's back, and he's been hitting the gym harder than ever. Recently, newly leaked sparring footage has surfaced, showing Iron Mike going toe-to-toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with a younger, heavier, and larger opponent. And let me tell you, folks, he's not just in there for show. He's moving, he's dodging, and he's delivering punches with the kind of force that would make a freight train jealous. But let's address the elephant in the room. Many have noted that Tyson's recent training clips only show a few seconds of action, suggesting he may lack stamina. You know the drill they say, he's old, he can't go the distance. Those short clips don't prove much well. Guess what? We've compiled all his sparring footage into a single video and you'll see Iron Mike going multiple rounds. Yes, you heard that right, multiple rounds. Who else can do it but me? Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Should he be scared? He should be very... Careful, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Be careful. I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. The way Tyson moves, the way he reads his opponent, it's like watching a master at work. The speed, the agility, the raw power, it's all still there. And if you're sitting there thinking this is all just for show, that he's only doing this for Instagram likes. I, I put that Mike Tyson up against anybody who ever lived. That guy was a special fighter. Part of the thing about Tyson that people forget, it wasn't just the knockout punching, it was he was so hard to hit, man. He was bobbing and weaving. He, would, he was already short for a heavyweight, but he would get low. Think again. This is Mike Tyson we're talking about. Not some wannabe trying to make a name for himself on social media. Do you think he, he's ever stood across from a man with the sort of intentions you can have inside a ring. Well, he may have been in the ring with people with the same intention, but the actuality, no. Joe Rogan, who else can do it but Mike? Who's he going to fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived.
Do you think he's ever stood across from a man with the sort of intentions Mike can have inside a room? This is good. Down goes Tommy Fury. Much more aggressive. Southern, this is what you want. Oh. Show it back down. He has done it from time to time. Just haven't been. Oh! oh. 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 Askin has been hit. There were moments in the last round where the body work <laughs> you fucking hit him with your back. What are you doing, Max? You're fucking going great. You're just back? No. You gotta keep your hands up, though, baby. You need to fucking give me a and I'll leave right here. That's me. Welcome back to Quick Rundowns. You won't believe what just went down at the At T Arena in Arlington, Texas. 
buckle up because the highly anticipated showdown between YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul and the legendary Mike Tyson was nothing short of an absolute roller coaster. Seriously, if you missed it, what were you even doing? First off, let's talk about the atmosphere. Fans were buzzing like bees at a honey convention, and who could blame them? The anticipation was through the roof. This was not just another influencer boxing match. Nope. This was the self-proclaimed problem child taking on one of the most feared boxers in history. The hype was real, folks. As Jake Paul strutted into the ring, you could almost hear the crowd thinking, is this guy really about to fight Iron Mike? Jake walked in with the swagger of a man who just got a brand deal, clearly ready to take on the world. On the other side, there was Mike Tyson, the living legend, calm and composed. I mean, who needs to hype things up when your mere presence sends chills down the spine of the bravest souls? Round one kicked off, and surprise, surprise. Jake Paul didn't come in swinging wildly like a kid in a candy store. Instead, he had a game plan. He stuck to his jab, moved well, and get this actually showed some confidence. It was like watching a puppy who just learned how to bark without tripping over its own paws. Tyson, of course, was doing his classic thing stalking his prey like a lion sizing up its dinner. He wasn't rushing in, oh no, he knew Jake's best chance was to land something big early. Tyson's head movement was on point, ducking under Jake's jabs and inching closer. But here's the kicker Jake surprised everyone with his defense. He wasn't just flailing, he was actually moving out of range and staying smart. Who knew? Maybe he wasn't just a TikTok star after all. Fast forward to round two, and things started heating up. Jake was still trying to keep Tyson at bay, but the legend wasn't having it. Tyson turned up the pressure, throwing those classic body shots that are more brutal than a breakup text. You could practically feel the punches through the screen. Jake took some heavy shots to the ribs, and you could see the look on his face like, uh, yeah, this isn't fun anymore. But credit where it's due, Jake didn't panic. He kept his cool, moved laterally, and managed to land a few solid counter shots when Tyson got a little too eager. The crowd was buzzing, could Jake actually hang with Mike Tyson? You could cut the tension with a knife. Then came round three where Jake Paul showed he wasn't just there to collect a paycheck. Early in the round, he landed a clean right hand that momentarily stopped Tyson in his tracks. The crowd gasped. For a split second, you could feel everyone's jaw drop. Did Jake just rock Mike Tyson? Holy moly. But let's be real, when Tyson gets hit, he just gets angrier. He smiled, nodded, and came back with a vengeance. He started cornering Jake and unleashing combinations like a kid on a sugar high. But Jake, surprisingly, held his own. He was rolling with the punches and even managed to slip some of Tyson's more dangerous shots. You could almost hear the boxing analyst scribbling notes. Is Jake Paul actually good? Now, round four is where everything changed. Jake started cautiously like a cat on a hot tin roof trying to avoid a firefight with the legend. But Tyson wasn't letting up. He cut off the ring like a pro, cornering Jake and unloading those vicious hooks to the body and head. You could practically hear the clock ticking down for Jake. And then it happened. Tyson slipped one of Jake's jabs, stepped in with a brutal right hook, and boom. It connected clean on Jake's jaw. The arena went silent for a moment. Did that really just happen? Jake's legs wobbled like a newborn deer, and before he could recover, Tyson followed up with a brutal left uppercut. Lights out. The ref didn't even bother with a count it was over. Jake collapsed to the canvas, and it was one of those knockouts you just can't look away from. Tyson proved that even in his 50s, he still got the power that makes legends. The fight ended in a brutal KO, and social media erupted. Let's talk about the aftermath. Jake might have gotten knocked out, but the internet exploded with reactions. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, it was a battlefield. Fans were in disbelief posting memes, hot takes, and reactions like they were auditioning for a stand-up comedy special. One fan tweeted, Mike just sent Jake Paul back to YouTube where he belongs. Iron Mike for life, you just know that tweet went viral in seconds. People couldn't believe what they witnessed. Thousands of retweets, likes, and comments flooded in. Jayco was trending worldwide for hours. And let's not forget the memes. People edited clips of Jake falling, complete with the classic wasted effect from GTA. TikTok was filled with hilarious POV videos, creators pretending to be Jake and doing exaggerated falls in slow mo. -o. It was pure chaos. And honestly, you had to laugh. But it wasn't just fans who were weighing in. Celebrities jumped into the fray. LeBron James posted, I don't care how old he is, Tyson will forever be the baddest man on the planet UFC champ Israel Adesanya simply wrote, GOAT status, period. When you have legends like LeBron and Izzy showing love, you know it's a big deal. So what does all this mean? Mike Tyson just reminded the world that he's still a force to be reckoned with, even today. And while Jake Paul might not have had the outcome he wanted, he showed grit, heart, and maybe even a touch of humility. IBF. Uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer, uh, Jim Gray. 
Okay, I'll come in the room yeah, after. Right <laughs> this bout is presented the problem child, Jay Paul. And the Catskills in Henderson, Nevada, USA. He is from the IBF. All right, gentlemen, I gave you the rules in there. Two legends. Fight hard, fight clean, touch them up. Here we go, live. On the back shots, get caught with it. Made a miss. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Trying to make him pay. Look at the way he cut the angle on that. Promising that this one will not. That was a shot. That was a shot. task. The referee will have to punch Rodney up again. He's even got the fighter week. All of what they were in their front. But I was wondering all week how will. Out. Couldn't get a read on the guy. Oh! This is a free one out there fighting again. Battered him with the right hand to the box. Uh, 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 is the Tyson picking off? Liver and upstairs without left to get their fence. Oh, oh, and there he hosted by Mario Lopez. And what a classic team. And he used that jab. Keep Tyson at distance. The exhibition is over. Oh. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike wants him off. What it is? I've summoned him. Getting Mike frustrated and Mike able to still break loose with his head movement, missed shots to make him pay. Classic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great night of sports and entertainment, courtesy of GES Boxing and Sugar Ray Leonard, and a little help from Mr. Stoop Dog, plus IBF, uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer Jim Gray. <laughs> Okay, I'll come in the room after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole training camp. So I called you three times yesterday, man. You took it. I knew I hit you with a good shot. You took it. You took it. I respect, hey, I respect that. Mr. Tyson, what do you think of that? Okay, I, I'll, I'm good with that. You think you won the fight? Yeah, but I'm good with a draw. Why? Because I entertained the crowd. The crowd was happy with Folks, we have a knockout. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Joe Rogan once said Mike could finish this fight before we even finish our popcorn. And boy, was he right. I mean, Mike Tyson just sent Jake back to the land of TikTok and YouTube where he belongs. After the fight, Jake's like, I got too comfortable leaning on the ropes. Really, Jake? You thought you were at a beach party instead of a boxing match? It's like he expected to ride out the storm while sipping a cocktail. And let's not forget Tyson's post-fight comment, I felt a bit rusty. Rusty? Come on, Mike. That was like watching a seasoned chef whip up a five-course meal while Jake was still figuring out how to boil water. Let's break down Jake's style for a second. I mean, the kid has heart. I'll give him that, but his punches looked more like enthusiastic slaps than anything resembling technique. And when he gets backed into a corner, it's like watching a deer caught in headlights. Now Mike, on the other hand, he's a monster. Every punch he throws is like a freight train coming at you. He's got that head movement, the footwork, the ability to read his opponent. Honestly, watching him is like watching a master painter at work if the canvas was Jake's face. The aftermath of this fight was nothing short of hilarious. Social media exploded. Men's of Jake's knockout were everywhere. Did you see that uppercut? It was trending like it was the hottest gossip on the block. You'd think the world just witnessed the second coming of Christ. In the end, this wasn't just a fight, it was a spectacle, a reminder that in boxing, anything can happen. Jake may have gotten knocked out, but he didn't go down without a fight. And let's be real, that's more than some people expected from him. Well, there you have it, folks. The fight might be over, but the memes and discussions are just getting started. What was your reaction to the knockout? Did you see it coming, or were you just as shocked as everyone else? Drop a comment below and let us know. Make sure to subscribe to Quick Rundowns for more action-packed breakdowns, and I'll see you next time. Move your head after. And spring, either way. Go left, go left.